Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a stripy panel. So we'll start by adding a panel to the interface, something like that, and we'll get a reference to it, so we'll right click, select create script variable definition, and we'll paste that here. And then we want to assign a paint routine. And then we're going to get the area of the panel into a variable called a. So we'll use this dot get local bounds. And now we're going to have a loop. So we'll loop from uh, zero to let's say 10. We'll say we'll have 10 stripes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set the colour to the panel's item colour 1. So let's just change that to red. And then we're going to set it to item colour 2, which will change to white. Okay, let's go something something like that. Okay, so we'll do that here. Right, G dot set colour. This dot get item colour. And then we're going to draw a stripe that is one tenth of the width of the panel and is the full height. So we're drawing basically a rectangle. So right, G dot fill, where is it? Fill rect. There we go for rectangle. And it's going to have some X value. We don't know what that is yet. The Y is going to be zero. The width is going to be the width of the panel. So that's going to be our area. 2, that's the width, divided by 10, because we want 10 stripes of equal width. And the height is going to be A3. So just to be clear, this um, what we've got here in this A variable is the x, y width and height of the panel as an array. Okay, so the only thing to decide is this x value. So we'll declare a variable called x. And that's going to be equal to i multiplied by a2 divided by 10. So every time i increases, we're going to increase the x position by one tenth of the total width of the panel. And if we hit f5 now, what we're going to get is a red panel because we're just drawing a series of red rectangles. So what we need to do is alternate the color. So we can say, um, let's do it actually over here. We'll say if i mod 2 equals 0. So we're testing for odd or even, basically. We'll do that. Otherwise, we'll let's copy and paste that. We'll just set it to item color 2. Odd numbers are going to be one color. Even numbers are going to be another color. So there we go. And this is for vertical stripes, but we could do the same thing with horizontal stripes. So instead of using the uh, X value here, we'll change that to Y. And instead of using the width, we'll change that to the height. And then we just have to do the same thing here. So instead of width divided by 10, we do height divided by 10. And instead of X there, we put zero. Instead of zero there, we put Y. And now we get it the other way around. We could also um, rotate the panel. If we wanted to do them at an angle, say g dot uh, rotate math dot uh, two radians is what I want because I work in degrees. So we'll put 45 degrees there and that'll be converted to radians. And for the center value, we're going to put uh, a2 divided by two and a3 divided by two. So that's the center of the panel there. So we'll hit F5 and now they're at a 45 degree angle. Okay, I'm not sure what you're going to use this for, but I just thought it was an interesting uh, little thing to do and it's a kind of a practical little thing, shows you how to use loops and uh, paint routines and whatnot. So yeah, I figure it might be useful for something. So go and play with it and I'll put a snippet for this on my Patreon page for the higher tier supporters and there's a link to that post below this video on YouTube. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.